day three, day three of Ebertfest, and we will have um, another first for you, uh, an unintended first. We have uh, a movie called Girlhood uh, by uh, Céline Schiama, a French uh, director who did a movie that Roger uh, uh, really thought deserved accolades called Tomboy, and we're going to have Sheila O'Malley to come out to really tell you about the movie. However, we discovered that just, be, just now, recently, that the the um, copy they sent us is not the subtitled copy. <laughs> so how many of you are like fluent in French? <laughs> All right. Where is Eloise Godet? Uh, is Eloise here? I'm serious. Is Eloise here? She's on her way over. She's on her way over. Because what we're going to do is we're going to try another Skype thing afterwards. It's going to be a short one from France. And um, I just want Eloise here in case there's any problem with translation when we have Carija Ture on film. What we're going to do for you, however, the first is not the first to show you a foreign movie without any subtitles. I wouldn't do that to you. What we're going to do, the first to show you the film in a format that sometimes the film critics see it. And that's with, you know, when the studios send us something, they send us a link and it's private because of the piracy issues. Or when they used to send us uh, DVDs, they would have them water stamped. Sometimes they would give them to us water stamped with your name on them or with a number to identify so that if, you, if, some, if it did leak or somehow got out, they could trace it back to you. Uh, and sometimes they have just the name at the top of the, um, the studio that's releasing it. This, I think, may have that. And so if, if you've never seen a film with that on it, with, on this big screen, maybe it's, it won't be as uh, distracting. But I just have to tell you this. So after a while, when you first start watching it, and it may say, strand releasing across the top. This is the property of, we're just going to have to go with it because otherwise we have to show you the one that's not subtitled and, and that's not an option. So what I do want you to know is after you start watching it for a bit, it, it, it falls away. You stop noticing it as much and then you really just get into the characters and and reading the subtitles, um, and so that's first here. So it's, it's what we're going to do. Uh, the other thing is I wanted to uh, thank you, some of you who have sent emails to ebertfest at yahoo.com. Oh, okay, who laughed? I wonder if that's the person who sent me an anonymous email because I got emails that told good things. You know, I said, do you want music out on the quad again? I had the same number of people who said yes and no. <laughs> Some people said, yes, bring back the music. And others said, no, no music. You know, let us just talk about the movies when we're out there. So I have the same, you know, so I'm going to wait until more people weigh in on whether we bring back music next year or not. It wouldn't be this year. It would be next year. And then other people sent emails about the Ebert Center with some actually very good suggestions for some things we may want to consider uh, for the Ebert Center. I thank you for that. And then others sent, um, someone uh, sent an email, actually I got a few of these emails. I don't know if I seemed a little less, a little more um, uh, reserved on the first night, but they said, are you okay? Uh, you know, you usually talk more, or you're usually more bubbly, or, and they said, and then I got one that said, oh, thank God, uh, yesterday you seemed like you're back to your self, old self. <laughs> so thank you for that. But then I'm wondering if the person who giggled sent me the anonymous email, Chaz, you talk too much. <laughs> so thank you for that one too. Uh, 
But guess what? This is Ebert Fest. So we are today. <laughs> We are today, but I do, I do value your opinions no matter what they are. i just like for you to, don't send them anonymously. Just send them and then we can, we can um, either engage in dialogue or I can have someone waiting out there to beat you up. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't do that. Even though I am from the west side of Chicago, but. Um, what we're going to do after this is have a, a panelist, but right now what I'd like to do is bring out Sheila O'Malley to introduce the film. She's a regular film critic for RogerEbert.com. She's also contributed reviews and essays to The Dissolve, Fandor, Bright Wall, Dark Room, Capital New York, Movie Mezzanine, uh, and Press Play. Her script, July and half of August, was recently shot as a short film starring, starring Anika Marks and Robert Baker. O'Malley writes about actors, movies, books, and Elvis Presley at her personal site, The Sheila Variations. And I think that she is also um, an actor. I think you also went to school for acting. I did, yes. You did, yes. Anyway, please help me welcome Sheila O'Malley. So um, this film I saw it and reviewed for RogerEbert.com, and I had seen uh, Celine Sciamma's two other films, uh, Water Lilies and Tomboy, which are just um, just superb. And taken as a whole, these three films really become, they're almost like a trilogy, unofficial, even though they aren't the same characters. So we'll talk all about that um, afterwards. Um, Girlhood uh, shows the friendship that develops between four girls who live in the suburbs of Paris, and it's a world that's not really portrayed all that much, and um, which is one of her things with Water Lilies and Tomboy as well. She's very interested in girls and how girls operate on their own as little girls, as tweens, and now as teens. Um, so it's a beautiful film. I'm, I'm excited to discuss it with you afterwards. Um, before I go and we start our film, um, I just wanted to read a quote from Roger's review of Tomboy, which was in 2012. And it just, I thought he, he kind of captured a little bit of what Celine Sciamma's outlook is, her process, her approach to these things. Um, there is no conscious agenda in view. There is just a tomboy. Not everyone needs to be slammed into a category and locked there. So, enjoy the film. 